welcome to the very first episode of Badlands Rack Attack. What is Rack Attack and why did we name it that? Well, honestly, we threw around a thousand corny names and that's the corniest that we could find, so that's the one we landed on. Rack Attack, by the way, my name is Blake Van Tussenbrook. I'll be your host every week or every two weeks or three weeks, however often we can pull this together on Rack Attack. But this is just a weekly or bi-weekly voice for us to give something to you, give you information on product, news, industry stuff, things you might find interesting, give you a way to ask us questions, give away stuff, just all sorts of things. That's what the Rack Attack is. It's gonna be fast moving. It's gonna be simple, short. We know you don't wanna waste 12 minutes online watching a bunch of boring video that really doesn't pertain to you. So we're gonna move fast. These are gonna be short videos and they're gonna be no cuts, no crazy editing. I'm gonna spew out a bunch of information for a few minutes and you're gonna take it, digest it, take what you want, leave what you don't, leave comments down below, tell us what you wanna see next time, all that kind of stuff. Negative comments will be lambasted by myself um, or just flat out ignored because we hate the negativity. We want you to interact, tell us what you wanna see and we're just gonna have a fun time here on the Rack Attack but let's get right into this week's show. Uh, so this is gonna be broken down into, into different segments. We're gonna have things like Tech Talk, Workshop, News Minute, uh, giveaways, things like that. And we'll spend a minute on a few segments each week, uh, give you a little bit of information, things we think you wanna hear, things that are annoying us, uh, maybe that you don't wanna hear, but we're gonna tell you anyway. But uh, yeah, we're just here to have some fun. So our first segment today is Tech Talk. We're gonna go through the Badlands binocular cases. So occasionally here, we're gonna do some product reviews, talk about product, um, what people are liking, what kind of things we're hearing from them. We're not gonna bring in brands, products from other brands and review ours against other things because we sell Badlands, we make Badlands. Wouldn't make sense as us being a manufacturer or a dealer of something to bring other brands in and just have a totally biased opinion on the product that we make or sell. So, we're gonna talk about our gear, what people like, get feedback, what you might wanna see on the next version, things like that, and we're gonna to listen to you and put your thoughts into work. So, bino cases. We now offer five different styles of bino cases, and people are always asking, what's the difference between A and B? What's the difference between C and D? And uh, how do I know which binocular case to buy? So, we're gonna go through quickly just a few of the differences, few of the models. So, bino X. Bino XR, Bino D Mag, D Mag, Mag Bino case, the original, still going, still one of our most popular, and the Bino C, C uh, the C stands for compact, much smaller. So to give you a quick rundown of features and sizes, Bino X is gonna be the overall biggest space. If you have a big oversized binocular, you can't see worth a lick, you gotta take that giant glass out on the mountain, you're gonna need the Bino X to fill up that space. Big old internal space. Uh, take the harness out and you can see it's just a big cavernous area. Uh, a lot of those bigger rangefinder binoculars, uh, things like that are gonna fit in this. And it's gonna give you an internal pocket, magnetic closure, uh, four point shoulder, shoulder harness. And to give you an idea, there's the profile on that. Bino X. One of our newer additions, the Bino XR. The R stands for rangefinder. You have a separate rangefinder compartment here in the bottom. There's a movable Velcro shelf on the inside that separates the binocular compartment from the rangefinder compartment. Again, magnetic closure. You can drop that open, access your binos. For size reference, this is a Vortex Viper 10 by 42. Most 10 by 42s and smaller are gonna fit in here. Again, that shelf should probably move down a little bit. These are a little tight but I could easily move that shelf down and still have plenty of room for my rangefinder on the shelf here. Tethers in both the rangefinder and binocular compartments, uh, lens cloth, storage, uh, external storage on these zippered compartments, built-in rain cover um, here in the back, big pocket here in the back. So Bino XR, definitely one of our most popular models. Let me pull that Bino out. Newest addition to the line, the D-Mag stands for Deluxe Mag. So much like the Bino XR, uh, magnetic closure top for your binoculars, magnetic closure bottom for your rangefinder. Tethers, same deal, movable shelf. Biggest difference, this has the full magnetic seal. 
that you've always seen and loved on our mag bino case. Dust tight, water tight seal gives you ultimate protection. You lose the side pockets here, but you gain a zippered front portion uh, with a divider in there for storage, tags, uh, wind check, calls, um, things like that. Again, plenty of storage in here. This is actually a wider fit than the XR, so if you have a little bit wider binocular, you want to go with the D-Mag. Again, built-in lens cloth, built-in tethers, pocket, um, great padded soft storage in there, great protection for your binos, magnetic closure, super slick, little bit smaller profile from the side. The D-Mag, we also have the bow hook on here. You can hook your D-loop through there, your bow will hang horizontally, keep your hands free if you're glassing. Classics, all-time favorite, dare we say the best all-time sell, all selling binocular case in the history of the world. Uh, I've literally sold hundreds of thousands of these. The Bino Mag, simple, quick, magnetic closure, internal storage there, multiple pockets, built-in tethers, built-in lens cloth, and side attachment points here if you do want to clip something onto the side. Bow hook, four-point shoulder harness, by far the slimmest profile. Bino Mag. Quickly, the Bino C stands for compact. Show you here. Even in its compact size, you can still get most 10 by 42 binoculars in there and smaller. Again, zippered pocket on the front. Tethers, very simple but effective Bino case. Smallest profile, great for some of those smaller binocular setups. So most of them are available in both of our camo patterns, Badlands Approach and Badlands Approach FX, with some of them being available in solid colors as well. You just have to check out the full assortment at badlandspacks.com. So that's a quick overview of the bino cases. Clear off some space here, because we're gonna move into the Badlands Workshop. And something you've been wanting to know about for a long time, that we've been working on for a long time, is the replacement for the iconic Badlands Ox Pack. Some of you have heard over the last year, year and a half, we've been developing it. Um, it became code name Bob, which stands for Beast of Burden. Uh, something we've been working on a long time. We're gonna give you a sneak peek here. This is a sample, it's a working sample. Uh, we're still refining a lot of the features, a lot of the fine tuning is going on, but we're gonna give you a look at it here today. So, as a lot of you know, the Ox was our external frame pack, became very iconic. I'm sure you've, uh, most of you have seen it. It's our external frame meant for heavy hauling. Uh, when you know you're gonna put an animal down, you're gonna take your external frame pack because you're planning to haul meat off of the mountain. Again, we're not gonna give you a complete breakdown of this because it's not quite done, but it is gonna be released in 2019 and be ready for 2019 big game season. Again, beast of burden. Complete pack redesign from the Ox. New features, um, kind of a bat wing design. Big cavernous main storage area and lots of organizational pockets in here as well. Side pockets and a new meat carrying system. This pack is gonna, uh, you're gonna be able to loosen the straps here. Drop this, again I'm not gonna show all the functionality, but drop this all the way down or take it completely off. And then there's going to be your blaze orange meat shelf system in there, bottom shelf system that is going to encompass a game bag, carry it all together. Um, so again, this can be used as a full pack system, uh, pack frame together, or you can drop this completely off, just use it as a frame hauler and you're still going to have that meat shelf capability there. Um, you can see a totally redesigned external frame system, carbon fiber. We're getting this thing to be lighter but stronger than the old ox was. And you'll see here a completely redesigned back suspension system, super comfortable molded foam, uh, breathable. It's going to mold your body over time, become super, um, super conformed, super comfortable. And again, uh, load lifters, all that stuff is going to transfer that weight down onto your hips where it should be. Keep it off your shoulders, which is so important when you're hauling anywhere from 60 to over 100 pounds um, on these external frame packs. So we'll have much more to come on the Bob pack later. But that's a preview. Um, you hound us with questions about this pack, when's it coming, and rightly so. Development has been slow, but we've been very careful to not release something that we're not 100% happy with. Uh, we're gonna get this thing refined, all the fit and finish is done, and get it out to market for you guys soon. 
the Bob, coming soon from Badlands. All right, moving along, the Badlands News Minute is what we're calling this segment, and we're just going to hit on that real quick. Coming in 2019 is the sixth annual Badlands Film Festival. We're looking for your films. They're not films we're putting together or building. They're your films, your experiences that we want to put on the big screen in Louisville, Kentucky on January 11th, 2019 during the ATA Trade Show. Um, we can get you tickets if you want to come to the event if you're in that area, but we really want to show your films on the big screen. So we're going to put the link down in the description of this video of everything you need to know about the film festival. When, where, what are we looking for, how long should your video be, what kind of story are we looking for, uh, those kinds of things. And our awesome partners are all listed there as well. The Badlands Film Festival 2019 is presented by our friends at Garmin. Uh, we have Yeti involved, uh, Expedition Archery, so many awesome partners involved in that event. Um, check out all the details at that link, and most importantly, get those films done. Go film an interesting experience. We've seen the guy sitting in the tree stand whispering a thousand times, please do something crazy, do something interesting, tell us a story that's never been told before, find a new angle, something like that. But the Badlands Film Festival, check it out below, that's the Badlands News Minute. So you might be asking yourself, why have I sat here for five minutes today wasting my time when I could have been building a spreadsheet or whatever it is you do at work. Um, so you probably want to win some free stuff and each week we're going to give away free stuff through the Badlands Rack Attack. Rack Attack! Today we're going to give away a Badlands D-Mag Bino case, our newest binocular case. We went over some of the features. Absolutely love this thing. It's become my new favorite. Um, so what are we going to do? Each week, we're going to post the video on YouTube. We're going to pick a winner from the previous week's comments to win the prize from that week. So, for example, make sure you're signed in in YouTube so that we can see your username and see who you are because on the next video, we're going to announce the winner of somebody who commented on last week's video. Uh, maybe it's 24 seven. Oh, that's a bad example. Um, maybe it's rad hunter all day long for 27 nine or, um, yeah. But that user will be announced on the next week and he will win the prize. We'll announce that winner every week. We'll have something cool. Again, we want those comments. What can we do better? What did we screw up on? Do you want to see Larry, who's behind the camera, get in front of the camera instead of me? Maybe you do. Um, but let's hear from you and make this show as much yours as it is ours. And our last segment for today is called Rantin' and Raven. So what things are we seeing out there that are just annoying, frustrating? What do we all want to get rid of? What do we... Um, what's really just chapping our behinds. So uh, we dug something up this week, nothing too crazy, but please, for the love of all that is holy, stop posting a video or a close up of your target with your arrows stuck in it. And it says, my favorite kind of group therapy. Like, oh, it's brutal. Like, come on, it's not creative. We've seen it a thousand times. It's just the worst mem out there. Um, yeah, group therapy. No, no. Find something new. Be creative. My, no. No more group therapy posts on Instagram. So, again, uh, speaking of Instagram, stop sending us messages on Instagram and expecting us to answer product questions or little things. We don't check our Instagram messages that much. Instagram has made it incredibly tough to connect with people as a business page. You have to go in, they think they're the experts, they filter the messages they think you want to see and the rest kind of get hidden. Unless we make 17 clicks to get to that group, we're never going to see those messages. So email, pick up a darn phone for heaven's sakes, we'll talk to you on the phone. Uh, there's better ways to get in contact with us. Uh, but that's ranting and raving for this week. We're going to have a lot more segments in this in other weeks. We're going to have a lot of fun with the rack attack. rack attack. Give us your suggestions. What do you want to see? What you, do you not want to see? What wasted your time? And uh, I think that's going to do it for this week's Badlands Rack Attack. Thanks for joining us. We're done. Rack Attack!